from the outer solar system inwards, where it will wreak havoc on Earth as it passes at about 4 million miles away. They say the planet will cause the poles to switch, sparking great earthquakes and volcanic eruptions, which threaten billions of lives. Believers now claim it will be on an approach path with the Earth between November 20th and December 20th. However, there are claims it will not wipe out all life on Earth and humanity will be able to survive. One leading figure in the Nibiru Cataclysm movement even predicts mankind will prosper after the disaster, DailyStar.co.uk reports. Christian conspiracy theorist David Mead claims to have spent years unlocking Bible codes to work out just when Nibiru will appear. He said, Nibiru will only affect one-third to half of the Earth. Major rebuilding will be needed. It is not an extinction-level event. In fact, after these days of trouble, according to the book of Revelation there will be 1,000 years of peace, called the Millennium. So these are end-of-days events but not end-of-the-world events. There will supposedly be seven years of tribulation before humanity can advance, he claims. The period mentioned in the Bible warns of famines, natural disasters and apocalyptic wars. It is also said that the Antichrist would arrive on Earth and begin a devastating reign. Mr. Mead forecast Nibiru's arrival in the Apocalypse using the Bible books of Isaiah, Luke, and Revelation. The author behind Planet X, the 2017 arrival has also previously identified the exact place he predicts the planet to hit. He previously said, when Planet X hits, it will hit one or our three main oceans, the Atlantic, Pacific or Indian. Basically the oceans facing the Sun. And it will destroy one-third of the Earth, not 100%. It will create massive tsunamis and trigger some super volcanoes, of which we have about 20. So it's going to cause some major problems. Many people claim to have already seen the Doom Planet, with sightings reported across the world. Mr. Mead said we are already seeing some of the effects. He believes the gravitational pull of Nibiru is causing huge solar flares on the Sun and a raft of earthquakes. However, it is some consolation that Mr. Mead predicted Nibiru would become visible in the skies from September 23rd. He then said it would pass us in October. All these dates came and went, because as NASA points out, Nibiru is a myth and a hoax, despite the amount of believers. NASA scientist Dr. David Morrison said, there is no credible evidence whatever for the existence of Nibiru. There are no pictures, no tracking, no astronomical observations. I can quite specifically say how we know Planet X or Nibiru does not exist and does not threaten Earth. Firstly, if there was a planet headed into the inner solar system that was going to come close to the Earth, it would already be inside the orbit.